Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers should exercise caution when watching this program as it may contain images of deceased persons. Now we're going to go take a look at traditional Noongar healing and bush medicine. Noongar woman Dale Tilbrook talks to us about healing and how Noongar healers place equal importance on both spiritual healing and medicine. When I think of bush medicine, I think not only of plants, but also of animals and the spiritual side of healing. Several years ago, my late partner was very ill and he was on the critical list at Royal Perth. He was in the cardiac ward and one of his old brothers brought another old brother up who was supposed to have had Marban. And I believe it because everyone around me was believing it and he shut himself in the room with old boy and went to work on him. And when he came out, he said, he'll be okay now. Well, he was. I remember as a kid saying, well, how did you know to do this? You know, and she's, oh, our people have always done this. But I said, how did they know? And she turned to me and she said, well, they'd watched the animals. So in their environment, they learnt from the animals. And a lot of animals, when they get sick, they will eat you know, some, some dirt, some, some animals eat grass. The peppermint trees that grow all over Perth, people don't take much notice of them, but they were always our instant Vicks vapor rub. So if you've got a sore throat or a tight chest, get a young leaf from the tree, just crush it up. And as soon as you do that, you'll smell that familiar smell, that camphoraceous smell of Vicks vapor rub. Mullet Up Aboriginal Gallery has been operating in the Swan Valley for the last 17 years and we've been in this building for the last 11 years. I often think that um, the only reason I hang paintings on the wall is to entice people into the gallery so that I can talk to them. Wait for it, all these are the next superfoods of the world.